So today we're going to go over how to do a saline irrigation using the Neomed sinus rinse. Uh, following procedures, we have almost every single patient doing nasal irrigations at least twice a day. For those who have never done nasal irrigation, it can be very odd and potentially uncomfortable the first couple times, but in almost every case, it does start to actually feel good as you moisturize and move the crusting through your nose. Okay. Uh, doing nasal irrigations is not only for post-operative use, but also for the average population. Doing a nasal irrigation is great for allergies, sinus infections, uh, preventing nosebleeds. Uh, the, the more moisture you use, the better it'll be for your nose. Okay, so for this bottle specifically, what you do is you take bottled or distilled water, you fill it up to the dotted line. Uh, you can warm the water. Uh, you know, the best way to do it is to uh, heat up a, uh, a reservoir of water and submerge a filled Neil Med sinus rinse bottle in that to gently warm it up. Some people feel that warming the sinus rinse prior makes it more comfortable, okay? Once it's filled up, you unscrew the cap, take one of the provided Neil Med sinus rinse saline salt packets, break it open, and pour it into the rinse, okay? Following that, put the lid back on, put your finger over the top, and shake it up a little bit just to mix the saline pack in, okay? Now this next part's the weird part, okay? What you're gonna do is lean over a sink, make a seal with one of your nostrils in the top of the bottle, place it against your nose, squeeze firmly and slowly, water will go up one side of your nose and down the other. Generally, you do one full squeeze on both sides as to have water flow direction in both sides of your nose, okay? Observe. It is normal for a little bit of water to run out the front of your mouth. If it does, it tastes like salt water because it is. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Or otherwise, visit sinusandsnoringmd.com.